This is something that I've been using lately, and it's actually been kind of nice. Um, so you guys know I've been using Stitcher for a good while, and a lot of our podcasts are on there. But, you know, uh, there was, there's been a lot of problems. I think around January, they had a lot of downtime, and I wasn't able to get, get to my podcast. So, like, at least for the time being, I needed to find an alternative, right? Um, and, and I'm an iPhone user, so I kicked back to podcasts. The app that comes installed that you can't delete. Podcasts. <laughs> And I got to say, it was it had been ages since I've used it, of course. And uh, it really kind of it works out for me, you know, and you're going to get a glimpse of exactly what I listen to on here, too. Uh, but uh, it, it's uh, I, I try not to, you know, now now that it's not as goofy about um, trying to listen to podcasts like full streaming, because I don't want to download anything. Yeah. Like, I don't want to take it up a bunch. And I'm sure like half of these are downloading. And I'm not paying attention to it. Um, and, and, and the biggest worry I have is, OK, I, I kick on a podcast that I'm listening to. I come back, and is it going to be in the same place? And it's been relatively, um, relatively decent with that uh, since I've gotten back on this. Um, I went and added just about, I think, all my podcasts that I've been listening to on here. There's some Rivers Edge right there, um, and you know, my the, does this hold up? The, the uh, 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 five by five stuff, this week in tech stuff. But the other nice thing is, I've also been able to toss a lot of those those pesky podcast one wrestler podcasts in here. Um, not that I'm going to listen to everyone. Cause I really don't know. I don't really care about what Jericho is doing with his kids at a mm-hmm. Slayer concert or something, but I want to catch some of the interviews. Uh, so it's kind of nice that I'm able to kind of pull up and, and also see, keep an eye on what exactly my podcasts are looking like when they go here. Since I mean, most people are probably listening on iTunes. So, <laughs> so it's kind of nice to know that's a thing. Um, oh, there's Cole Cabana. I actually uh, ran into him on our Saturday night at the uh, wrestling show, fellow podcaster. Um, but uh, but no, I, I think it's worth a shot. I mean, you got to think, you know, this is how most people are listening to podcasts. Most likely, they have an iPhone and they say, "Oh, let's let's see what this is about," and they start listening to something, right? Um, versus the Stitchers, the Spreakers, and and and, and SoundClouds and everything. And and I think it's. Uh, I say I'm on iPhone anyways. It's kind of the de facto place to do it. And if nothing else, I, I, I'm figuring if I'm getting, uh, if I'm listening to stuff in here, I'm helping out the podcast that I enjoy a bit more because it is in iTunes. And it seems that most um, your rankings and activity on iTunes affects where you are on iTunes and half the places scrape from there when they get their rankings and, and search queries and everything. Mm-hmm. So the more to help those there, the more, you know, you're, you're helping out the podcast that, that, that I think you want to. Well, yeah. another nice thing about the, <clears throat> excuse me, the podcast app for iPhone, and I use something similar. I use Podcast Addict mm-hmm. for Android. Is uh, you don't have to download. Like I, I don't want to download a Stitcher app. I, nothing against Stitcher. I don't want to download a SoundCloud app or or this app because then you've got a gazillion apps on your phone all taking up space. They're all trying to run in the background, so you have to keep right. closing them. Right. Uh, I just want one a one-stop shop where I could just get everything, and uh, that is the one nice thing about the podcast app for iTunes or you know, an Android equivalent. There, there's equivalents as Something well. Something that the podcast maker doesn't have to put their podcast into it. Like, yes. I imagine that, that is something where, oh, I can go subscribe to this thing over here. Like I know you can subscribe to iTunes uh, feeds, or you can RSS subscribe to them in, in like in iTunes that aren't even in iTunes. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like they haven't been approved yet or anything, but they'll be in there and you'll be subscribed to them. Yeah. Regardless, it, it's it's a format. It's open, and and a lot of those podcast apps will do the same. Versus Stitcher, I, uh, for a while, uh, you know, people would start new shows and be like, "Let me know when you're in Stitcher, and I'll uh, <laughs> make sure yeah. I listen to it a little because that's where I listen to it." Exactly. And, and and I've just moved on from that. And plus, I'm just tired of the commercials on Stitcher. I'm not going to pay. Uh, five bucks a month to get rid of ads to listen to podcasts that I could listen to with no ads over here. Sure. You know, like if, if, if I want to listen to an ad, I hope that they paid the podcast I'm listening to, you know, and, and I get that that's the way they're paying for that service and everything. Um, and, and also since they got bought by Deezer, I think it was called, which sounds like a character from Fraggle Rock. <laughs> um, the, the, you know, these downtimes have been ridiculous. I think it's time to kind of move away from a service like that. And I've been on it since, I think, like 2009. Yeah, well, it, it's just inconvenient. I, I, I don't know. Like, mm. I, I was just trying to listen to a podcast the other day, and on their website, it wouldn't play 
and there was an option to download. I downloaded it. It still wouldn't play on my phone. I tried it on multiple browsers. I tried it on the computer. This is on Stitcher? No, this is on someone's website. Okay. So their solution was, well, you could download the Stitcher app or the Spreaker app. I can't remember what it was on. It's like, I, I don't want to, I'm not going to download an app to listen to one show. Uh, now, I was able to find it on my podcast addict because they were signed in with the iTunes library and I'm able to pull from that library, Mm -hmm. but that's all I want. I just want one app where I can find it. And people, a lot of people like apps, but then just as many people don't want as many apps on their phone. I try to limit the number of apps I have as much as possible. And uh, the last thing I want is to have to go here, 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 here. And you're here, Android, here. right? So I'm Android, yes. I, like, and I feel like, and Chilla, back, you know, let me know if this is the case. Uh, from my experience with my Android stuff, like it seems that you get more background cruft going on the more apps you have versus like iOS feels like it deals with it a little better. So <clears throat> that's where iOS doesn't let anything run for more than 10 minutes in the background. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, even with background app refresh, and that's a a split second grab data and shut back down again. That's where Android wins and loses, right? Um, it wins because it can keep something open indefinitely. Uh, it, it loses because that something running indefinitely in the background is chewing up processor and memory, which in turn is chewing up battery. Um, some people do like it though, because things like chat clients and whatnot are a little more ahead of the the curve when it comes to running real time in the background versus um, something running on on iOS. But yeah, you, yeah, you're 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 right about that. Oh, there you go. Um, so so what what did you say you were using for Android? It's called Podcast Addict, and nobody mm-hmm. ever nobody seems to know what it is. It, right. It's just something I found. Right. But it, it's basically but all. There's, all so, it, there's so many of them too. Yeah. All it is basically is it's just a gateway to connect you to the iTunes library, mm-hmm. and you could put in your own uh, feeds. You could put in the links to your own feeds, and it'll bring them up. But it, it's you could just connect right to the iTunes library, just search, and it pulls it right from there. And hopefully, eventually, I, I think we're on the verge of podcasts coming to Google Play store or a google music i guess oh technically really? uh well we all registered our podcasts back in like october september and we're just waiting for them to kind of switch them on like hmm. they're, they're listed with our podcasts are in there whenever they turn on google music podcasts we're there um through through all of our current feeds nice. so um but i think that'll do kind of a similar thing to what is happening with apple we're like oh hey here's these shows you know um because these come up and search right beside uh artists um, for for a long time, I had a music podcast as well. I had a couple of them actually, mm-hmm. and and we we interviewed some bigger names, Head P, Cottonmouth Kings, stuff like that. And if you went and searched, and maybe you still can today, if you search Cottonmouth Kings, and you know, like you get the music, you get apps, you get podcasts, right? And we'd usually be right there, right at the top in podcasts. Huh. So um, it was kind of a nice mixing, especially since you're kind of playing in that space. Yeah, yeah, know? that is nice. So then, like, maybe more people can discover because you did talk to somebody that's in here, right? And, and maybe you'll kind of get some some hits out of that. So I'm, I'm, I want to check and see if that's in here. 